Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Now I love cats, I've got six cats and I thought to myself today it would be fun to do a review of cat treats because you quite often see them uh, on the supermarket shelves, they're pretty expensive and um, you might wonder well will the cats like them and what's inside that little packet anyway. I'm going to show you and um, then later on my cats are going to do a little bit of a demonstration of their reaction um, followed by an outtake that I'm not even going to talk about. Okay, so let's crack on. First kind of cat treats we're going to talk about are these kind, the meaty sticks. So we've got Webox. This is not a sponsored video by the way, okay? So I better tell you that. These are Webox ones, there's like fish ones and chicken ones. There's a Sainsbury's one and if you see those hanging up you know you get several sticks so you can rip them off and open them and you pop these out and my cats absolutely love these and luckily they're divided up into sections so they can all have a bit each <laughs> they just grab these out of your hand they love them if that door doesn't open it'll be a miracle because they can hear them from 100 yards away definitely worth buying definitely fun for the cats to eat they're a treat they should enjoy them these are the next uh, favorite thing with my cats and these are the felix twists they're not as keen on these as they are on the meaty sticks. Let me just get this open. The packet's hard to open, but then on the other hand, it keeps them fresh. And they look like the, the other ones, but they're kind of twisty. And um, yeah, they're pretty good. They enjoy them. Next in line, I'm going to say these catnip drops. I would say that cats don't really, in my opinion, my cats and the feral cats in the garden, sometimes I test these treats on. They don't really like them and um, so these they're okay with, I mean they're in date, they've got the batch date on them, there's nothing wrong with them but only Mog wants to eat these, so out of six cats only one of them wants to eat them. They're catnip drops, people always assume that cats are going to go crazy for catnip and certainly in toys I think that's true but in food they don't seem as impressed as they're meant to. <laughs> and follow that up with the milk drops, these are Armitage Good Girl ones by the way these are the little milk drops i had pet rats they love milk drops but my cats are so disinterested in these it's really quite hard to describe <laughs> very occasionally one will eat one what's the worst waste of money out of all well i'm afraid it's this and it's armitage again i'm sorry guys it these catnip biscuits now this is the most damning thing i could ever think of and they are in date um, these, not only do my, my own personal pussy cats not like these, but the feral cats in the garden, <laughs> I, I put them in the, because I had a few packets, I put them in the bowl with the cat food, and the feral cats in the garden ate the cat food around <laughs> these and left them. So that's pretty damning. So there you go, if you're in the aisle and you want to buy a cat tree, I suggest you buy one of these nice meaty stick things. Um, if you want a bit of variety, maybe them, but the rest of it, don't even bother. Let's look and see what my cats are going to do now when they're confronted with these wonderful gifts.
they're so cute aren't they if you enjoyed this video despite the rather abrupt end to that music <laughs> editing fail I don't, I don't know how to fade it out sorry if you enjoyed it do give the video a thumbs up maybe you want to share it with one of your cat loving friends you could even think of oh subliminally subscribing to my channel uh i guess really although he hasn't got the same taste as the rest of the cats we should give the last word to mog so over to you mog bye okay so here is mog with these catnip drops ow <laughs> <laughs> he's quite desperately trying to get those so the catnip drops are a definite yes aren't they mug you like those